Hey there, today we're going to take a look at what will happen if I keep my investment of AT&T for the next 30 years without doing nothing. How much would I get in the next 30 years? I guarantee you something, you will be surprised how much money it will be in 30 years. Now let's get to it. And remember, I am not a financial advisor. Please make sure to consult an appropriate advisor and do your own research before making any investing decisions. First, I have 330 shares of AT&T at an average price of $17 per share. Right now, my yield on cost is 6.47% and it gives me around $336 yearly in dividends. Well, here in this chart, we see the what's happening in AT&T dividends for the past five years. And we're able to see that, yes, it got cut here, but this is because um, the separation between AT&T and Warner Bros. Discovery. However, after the split, the dividend remain almost unchanged around six to seven percent all right guys this is where the magic happens now for this example we're going to assume my shares that currently have 330 shares my beginning investment which was 5659 we're going to assume an annual appreciation of three percent and an annual dividend increase of five percent all right guys we have two lines here the green line represents the investment on at t for the next 30 years reinvesting the dividends now the orange line represents my investment in at&t not reinvesting the dividends so let's get to it guys now on the first five years we don't see a divergence in these lines at all but we see here that if i keep my investment in at&t and but do not reinvest the dividends i will have six thousand two hundred ninety five dollars however if i do reinvest the dividends in five years i will have eight thousand six hundred around what two thousand dollars difference eh, okay However, look at this. Let's fast forward five more years. Ten years later, we will have 7,300 not reinvesting dividends. But if we do reinvest those dividends, guys, we will have more than double the amount, 15,339. Now, here is very, very great already. Over 100% profit. <clears throat> now, let's fast forward five more years. Five more years investment without dividends. We will have $8,593. But... If I do reinvest those dividends, guys, we will have $28,000, $177, guys. <laughs> Look at this. This is the difference of $21,000 in just 15 years, guys. All right, guys, this is the power of dividend reinvestment, guys. This is the snowball effect. This is the compound dividend reinvestment. Let's see when we fast forward to the next 10 years. In the next 10 years, we will have 10 thousand dollars if we do not reinvest those dividends however if we do reinvest those dividends look at this guys fifty four thousand dollars this is crazy guys now let's keep past 45 more years guys in year 25 if i don't reinvest the dividends guys we'll have eleven thousand seven hundred and sixty five huh, look at this guys eleven thousand dollars or if we do reinvest those dividends we will have one hundred thousand dollar value guys this is insane guys now let's see if we keep fast forwarding to the 30th year guys we will have thirteen thousand dollars seven hundred not reinvesting dividends but if we do reinvest those dividends guys we will have two hundred and thirty one thousand dollars guys this is absolutely crazy guys now the reason why this is happening with especially AT&T stocks is because of the amount of the stocks that I have 330 um, shares that I have and the dividend yield that I begin with, which is six point six and a half percent yield. Right now, AT&T is yielding around seven percent. So far, the dividend seems to be safe. Now, guys, remember, this is a projection. This is nothing for sure. Now, question is, guys, this is if I have no extra monthly contribution zero i begin with 330 shares and i will end with 330 shares guys so at the end of this 30 years i will end up with a balance of 231,439. total return will be 3,989 percent it's a 4,000 percent return my annual return will be 28 percent annual return annual dividends guys at the end of the 30 years 
AT&T will yield me $26,000 per year. And remember, after that, if the yield gets increased again, maybe by year 31st, it will be not $26,000. It could be $27,000, $28,000. Total dividends received in the next 30 years will be $176,000, guys. This is insane. Now, the yield on cost will be 468%. Now, guys, imagine if you decide to have a monthly contribution of any amount of money. Now, for this scenario, let's assume we're just going to put extra $41, guys, per month into AT&T for the next 30 years. Guess how much it's going to be now. Let's take a look. Now, guys, look at the massive, massive change here, guys. Now, let's go through this again, guys. So in year five, we will have around $6,000 if we do not reinvest those dividends. However, if we do reinvest dividends, guys, we will have around $13,000. Remember, guys, this is having a monthly contribution of $41, which equates to $500 per year. Let's fast forward to year 10, guys. $7,000 not reinvesting dividends. However, if we do reinvest those dividends, we will have $25,000, guys. Year 15, we will have $8,500 not reinvesting dividends, but with dividend reinvestment and a monthly contribution of $41, we will have $50,000, guys. Let's go to year 20th. Year 20th, we will have $10,000 not reinvesting dividends, but if we do re but if we do reinvest dividends plus the $41 monthly contribution, we will have $99,000, guys, $100,000. Here we go, here we go, guys. This is compound dividend reinvestment, guys. This is compound interest at its best. This is the snowball effect. Now, let's head, guys, to, to year 25. Year 25, no dividend reinvestment will be $11,700. However, look at this, guys. Just look at this, look at this. If we head to the line that show us dividend reinvestment plus $41 of monthly contributions, we will have $200,000, guys. This is insane. But look at this. If you think this is a lot, let's go. Let's check out year 30th. We will have $13,000 now reinvesting dividends. However, if we do reinvest those dividends, guys, golden, $432,000 thousand dollars guys let's see the breakdown guys ending balance in the next 30 years will be four hundred and thirty two thousand dollars nine hundred and ninety six total return will be two thousand percent my annual return will be a fifteen percent annual dividends guys at the end of the 30 years if we just don't do nothing we will get an annual dividend on year 30th of almost fifty thousand dollars remember by year 51 if they increase the dividend again it will be higher than this Total dividends received in this 30 years with just an extra monthly contribution of $41 a month, we would have received $322,000, guys. My, the yield on cost will be 239%, guys. This is crazy. This is insane. Warren Buffett back in 1988, he purchased Coca-Cola for an average price of $3. He invested 1.2 billion dollars his investment now is way over 24 billion dollars he received so far 10 billion dollars in dividend guys this is the best living example that we can see i did a detailed video on coca-colas on warren buffett's coca-cola investment i will link it on the description and on the cards right here for you to see guys we have seen this example in real life with warren buffett it is crazy it is insane guys now tell me guys if you have five thousand dollars laying around or if you already have $5,000 in AT&T, would you leave it for the next 30 years? If you're already investing in AT&T, what is your yield on calls and what is the average price, guys? Leave your comments below, guys. Thanks for watching. Like the video. Share this video if you found this video helpful and valuable. And subscribe, guys. Help me unsubscribe. Subscribe. All right. Thank you very much, guys. And bye-bye.